This presentation is an example of how to create and animate keynote presentations with color highlighting on the iPad for students with CVI. If you don't know a lot about animating presentations on Keynote, I would suggest watching my other video first as it goes into more explanation and detail about animation features. It will be linked in the description box. In this example, I will be building my slide from scratch. So if you want to skip straight to the color highlighting portion of the video, you can click on the timestamp in the description box. Adding color highlighting to pictures can draw students attention in to the differences in objects and the overall shape of things. I like to do this in presentations when teaching visual concepts. In this example, the student is working on the visual concept of straight versus curved. I will be asking the student to compare three straws to see which one is straight. Okay, let's get into this. I'll click on the Keynote app, click on the plus sign to create presentation, then choose basic black. Basic black gives good contrast. Okay, I'll click on the plus sign at the bottom and select a blank slide. I will go ahead and delete one of my slides by pressing on the slide lifting up the finger and selecting delete. Let's add some pictures. I'm going to put three different straws on this page. I'll go up to the plus sign in the top left and press the pictures and videos, then select my picture from photos. I can move the photo around the page by dragging it with my finger and I can make the picture bigger or smaller by adjusting the edges with the corner dots. Now I'll repeat the process to add two more straws to this page and arrange them on my screen. Moving and adjusting pictures with transparent backgrounds can be kind of tricky, so just make sure that you are pressing on the actual photo and not the transparent background when you're moving the pictures across the page. Now I'm going to animate each of these straws. I'll click on a straw, press animate, and then for this crazy straw, I'm going to add a build-in animation of twirl, exit out, and then add an action of bounce. Now I'll click on my straight straw and I will add a build-in animation of twirl and an action animation jiggle. For my bendy straw, I'm going to add a build-in animation of twirl again. I like how these straws look when they twirl and an action animation of flip. I'm done animating for now, so I'll choose done in the top right corner. Let's add some color highlighting to these straws so we can emphasize the shape of them. I'm gonna start out with a drawing feature if you go to the plus sign on the top right, there's a drawing option on the tab. Next, we'll go to select the marker icon below. If you click on it twice, um, you'll be able to make it full opacity and the largest marker size. Next, we'll go to color. I want it to be yellow. Now you can just draw on the screen I'm going to draw an outline on the crazy straw. Now an outline on the bendy straw. I also want to do a outline of the straw in the middle but I think it will be better if I use the shape feature instead of the drawing app. We'll choose done in the top right, and then I'll click the plus sign again at the top. 
Then at the top of the tab, you can see that there's a circle in a square shape. We're going to press that. That's the shape feature tab. I will choose the square shape. That one we can adjust to make a rectangle outline around the straw. So we're going to choose the square. I'll adjust the points of the square to make it a rectangle. I'll stretch it out over the straw. It's going to cover the picture. Next, we'll go to the format feature, which is the paintbrush at the top, and we're going to go to fill. We don't want this to be a filled rectangle. We want it to be blank in the middle. So we will choose no fill. And we'll click back to style, select border, then choose the border color to be yellow. Now I want the border to be a little thicker. I'm going to move the width sliding bar to make the width bigger. A little more adjustment and I'll have all the highlighting done. Now I want to animate the highlighting. I'll go to animations, click on the highlight of the crazy straw, and then add a build-in animation of line draw. Now for the middle straw, I'm going to choose Add action and blink. I choose blink a lot for color highlighting because I think it's a good way to draw students attention. For the highlight on the bendy straw I'll choose line draw again. And then I also want to add a build out action, which means the highlighting will disappear off the page and I'll choose disappear for that. Then I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna have all of the highlights disappear. I've decided for my middle straw highlighting that I want to add a build-in feature. I also want it to have a draw line, so I'm going to select that. Now that I'm done animating my highlights, I will add another animation to my straight straw. I want this straw to get bigger and then jiggle when the answer is revealed. I'm having trouble choosing the straw picture to select that happens sometimes when pictures are small and there's no fill or background on them to choose. So I'm going to go to the builds feature, which is the three lines on the top right. I will click on one of the straw animations and that should select the straw picture. Now I will click on the action button on the middle bottom and the plus sign to the right. And now I'm going to add a scale animation. I'll X out, click the plus sign, and then add a jiggle because I want it to get bigger and then jiggle. I think I'm done animating now, so I'm going to record my voiceover. I'll do this by clicking the plus sign, then clicking the record audio button. You'll find it under the picture tab. Then I'll click the microphone button on the bottom to record. Here we have three straws. The straw on the left, the straw in the middle, and the straw on the right. Which straw is straight. The straw in the middle is straight. Then I can press insert and now I have a recording on my slide. Next I want to make sure my animations are in order. 
So I will select animations, then select the build feature in animations, which is the three lines on top. I will grab my recording and put it at the top of my build. And I will make sure my recording starts after transition. Then I will go through to make sure that all of my animations are happening in the order I want them. When I click on an animation, I also make sure to select build after or build with, depending on when I want the animation to occur. I never click on tap because that makes the student have to tap on the screen in order for each animation to start. And I want this to play more like a video, so I choose build after or build with on each one. You can select and drag the animations in the order you want them. So if they're out of sequence, you can just pop them in the right spot. I want the rectangle blink to happen at the same time as the highlighting of the bendy straw and the crazy straw disappear. So I'm going to animate that by selecting the drawings disappear animation and choosing with build 11. So they happen at the same time. I also want the rectangle highlighting to disappear when the middle straw gets bigger. So I'm going to have the scale animation happen with build 14 instead of after build. The last animation is a jiggle that goes after 15. Now I can play it through to see if my voice matches the animations. Here we have three straws the straw on the left, the straw in the middle, and the straw on the right. Which straw is straight? The straw in the middle is straight. So you can see that my animations didn't exactly line up with my voiceover, which is pretty common the first time around. So I'm going to select the animations I want to change. I'm going to choose the flip animation, and I actually want the animation itself to be shorter. So I'm going to lower it to a half a second instead of a full second. Next, I'll change the crazy straw highlighting. I do not want this to have an accelerated draw, so I'm going to choose none. Just changes the speed at which the draw line happens. And then I'm going to choose a shorter duration. I want this to be two seconds instead of four seconds. Now I'll check the duration on all of my highlighting. I'll click on it and then click draw line. And this one is already two seconds. My bendy straw, that is four seconds long. I'm gonna shorten it to two. And then I'm gonna check the acceleration and I'm gonna choose none. Now I'm going to choose my blinking rectangle animation and I want that to be delayed quite a lot because my voice did not match the answer reveal. I'm going to delay that five seconds and I'll play it through again. Here we have three straws. The straw on the left the straw in the middle, and the straw on the right. Which straw is straight? The straw in the middle is straight. Not too bad, but I'm going to make one more adjustment. I'll go to build order, and then rectangle blink. 
and I'm going to add a few seconds onto the delay. Here we have three straws. The straw on the left, the straw in the middle, and the straw on the right. Which straw is straight? The straw in the middle is straight. Okay, this concludes the keynote tutorial. I hope it gave you some new ideas for making materials for students with CVI. Thanks for watching. Bye.